Well, hello there, Supreme fans. Welcome back to another episode of your favorite entertainment channel on YouTube, The Supreme. Today, just like every day, we have a brand new video lined up for you. We'll be exploring the cool world of mysterious things that have been found in open water. With today's title, what they found in the middle of the ocean will truly surprise you. Want to become part of the Supreme team? Make sure to subscribe down below with notifications on so you don't miss anything we post each day. Let's get rolling. That's no fish. So up first on today's list, we have some pretty crazy footage that was captured as recently as February of 2019. Check this out. A crew of fishermen were out in the middle of the open water looking for that day's big catch. But then, suddenly, they noticed something floating in the water, not too far from where their boat was located. So, they did what any group of young men would do when they're faced with an unknown entity in an unknown location. They went in to investigate. What, that wouldn't be your first inclination? <laughs> well, anyway, after maneuvering their boat much closer so they could see, they realized the impossible. This wasn't a large fish or any regular floating debris in the water, but it was a deer. Incredibly, the fishermen are able to attach a rope to to this wandering animal and bring him into the ship for safety, before then jumping back out into the water to capture the other stranded deer as well. It's unclear if the second animal was actually apprehended as the video was cut short of finding that out, but I think the question that needs to be asked here is this, how in the heck did these animals get all the way out here like this? They clearly made a wrong turn somewhere, but from where? Heraklion. So, before we just move right on in with the next clip, this is the time of the show where we like to take some time out and show a little love to some of our loyal viewers. So, without further ado, today's shout out goes to Jose Lopez, who just the other day left a comment saying, This was very interesting. Hashtag Supreme Family. So cool, Jose. Thanks so much for checking us out and leaving a comment. We appreciate when you watch, but we doubly appreciate when you watch and then leave that comment. Also, Jose, don't forget, tomorrow's a brand new day, so we'll have a brand new video ready for you. So up next, we have something that was discovered underwater that is pretty remarkable because it isn't just a singular item that was found. After more than 1,200 years of being trapped underwater, the lost Egyptian city of Heraklion, what's also known as Thonis, was stumbled upon by a French archaeologist named Frank Godio. The story goes that he saw a face emerge from the shadows of the water, and upon his investigation, he realized the remnants of this ancient city that was submerged over 150 feet underwater off the coast of Alexandria. At the time, the age-old city was believed to only be a legend, but according to some researchers, this city was likely founded near the 8th century BC. See, how amazing is it that an empire could be washed away like that? There were over 60 ships, treasures with gold coins, statues that stood over 16 feet in the air, and a humongous temple dedicated to the god Amun Gareb. Pretty special find when you think about it, but I wonder what else we have coming up on today's countdown oldest shipwreck in history. So up next, we have another unique piece of history that was uncovered from the depths of the vast ocean. In late 2017, an ancient Greek ship, the most ancient of all sunken ships found anywhere on the planet, in fact, was found by archaeologists more than two kilometers under the surface of the Black Sea. The Black Sea Maritime Archaeology Project, which featured archaeologists from Britain and Bulgaria, uncovered this ship along with 60 other ships that covered over 2,000 square kilometers of sea floor. After scientists removed a piece of the ship in order to carbon date it to see how old it was, the test came back suggesting that this extremely large and ancient boat dated all the way back to the year 400 BC, making this the oldest intact ship ever found underwater anywhere on the planet. Do you want to get a shout out in one of our daily videos? Well, don't forget to drop a comment down below with the hashtag Supreme Family. Tomorrow could be your day. Now, let's get back to the topic, the train graveyard. In the spirit of moving this train right along, up next on today's countdown of mysterious things found in the middle of the ocean, we actually have a train. As a matter of fact, it's actually more than one train, as this has often been dubbed as the infamous train graveyard. At just under 90 feet underwater, off the coast of New Jersey, two locomotives that went missing back in the 1850s are resting here, so to speak. The creepy thing here, though, is that no one knows how these two trains sunk here in the first place. It's assumed that the 
two trains were being transported by a large ship when suddenly a storm came out of nowhere, forcing the trains overboard or even being deliberately pushed off by the crew as a means to save space and relieve the vessel of some unnecessary weight. Either way, the exact reason isn't known, as the records from that time regarding this event simply don't exist. Apollo Moon Rocket Engine Okay, so up next today we have another crazy object, or pair of pretty large objects were recovered from the Atlantic Ocean just about five years ago. You know how every time they show a rocket blasting off into outer space, it always has some big pieces of machinery that ultimately fall away from the rocket as it progresses into its ascent? Well, part of the machines that drop off are the engines that power the boosters through the first stage of the blast off. Originally, it was assumed that the engines would just sink to the bottom of the Atlantic, unrecoverable and potentially lost forever. Well, in 2012, these engines were found, and a privately funded project by Amazon CEA Jeff Bezos, of all people, paid to have these engines pulled from the ocean depths. After undergoing a two-year renovation process, the engine parts are publicly displayed at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, Washington. Just one question before we move on. Am I the only one concerned that we were originally just planning on leaving these huge pieces of metal in the ocean forever? I mean, I know the ocean is a pretty large place. It just seems a bit odd that we would never consider the habitat of anyone but humans, even in non-life-threatening situations, like voluntarily sending a big hunk of metal to a rock in the sky sleeping with the fishes. Moving right along, we've just traveled back to 2016 when we're in Chile, witnessing one of the weirdest and most unfortunate natural events that we've ever seen. Thousands of dead fish flow in this, what has to be, very smelly water. This event that occurred with no warning and little to no explanation caught the attention of nations outside of Chile, as it just appears to be something that just shouldn't have ever happened. Thousands of dead sardines literally filled this river to capacity, and in fact, it was so many dead fish that even after the cleanup, I mean weeks after, you could still smell the wretched stench floating around in the air. Now, get this, because this is what kind of blew me away with all of this, authorities estimated that there were over 140 tons of dead fish by the time it was all said and done. 140 tons! Selling the Titanic. So we've talked about a few ships on today's countdown so far today. And up next, we have probably the most infamous ship of all time, the Titanic. If you've heard the story, then you know that during its time, the ship was supposed to be unsinkable. However, we all know how that turned out. Anyway, remains from this infamous crash have recently gone on sale, with estimations for the total dollar amount expected to be collected sitting north of $200 million. Everything from decorative window grills, well-preserved clothing, and art pieces that hung on the walls are all expected to be sold. Pretty cool, huh? The Jesus Statue. So as we climb into the top three clips of the day, we have something that was recently found and was completely unexpected. This is the Christ of the Abyss, which can be found submerged underwater in San Frutojo in Italy. The bronze statue was made to resemble Jesus Christ and was made by a guy named Guido Galetti. He put it in the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea to honor another guy named Dario Gonzat, who, according to legend, is the first Italian to officially use scuba diving gear. He put it down there in the year 1954, and it can still be seen by scuba divers to this day. A pretty unique sight, to say the least, so if any of you have ever watched this unique statue before, please go ahead and let us know all about your experience down in the comments. The Ugly Oarfish. Moving things right along, up next we have one of the ugliest underwater creatures I've ever seen. And when I say this thing is ugly, I mean this thing is ugly ugly. Check it out. This photograph was snapped after a very rare oarfish had swam up to the shore, which is highly unlikely because it typically preserves the deepest depths of the oceans. The oarfish can grow to as long as 36 feet and weigh over 600 pounds, which, if you swam across that big thing out in the open water, would surely make you feel pretty weird to say the least. And earlier when I said that these things preferred the deeper waters, what I meant is that these fish generally stay at least 3,000 feet below the surface of the sea. That's crazy, right? 
new shark species. So far, we've covered old locomotives, strange fish, and a mysterious bronze Jesus statue. So let's go to the ocean one more time as a brand new species of shark was discovered a few months ago in the Atlantic. And get this, it has ancestors that date back over 250 million years. Yeah, 250 million years. This incredible new species has been named the Atlantic six-gill shark. Now, these guys aren't very big in terms of sharks and reach about six feet in length. They also are only found in the absolute deepest depths of the oceans, so it's pretty unlikely that you'll run into one while scuba diving. But how cool is it that discoveries like this keep occurring, even today? Do you think we'll ever reach a time where there won't be anything else left to find? I sure hope not. But rest assured, if that's ever the case, then The Supreme will just find other things to talk about in our videos because, well, we'll never run out of topics for our The Supreme family. Duh! And that's today's video. If you like today's video, leave a thumbs up and share with all your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you never have to miss out on any of our interesting videos ever again.